I have a tool review. So stick around and I'll show you what it is. Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to my messy workshop. Not too long ago, I was contacted by the owner of the company that makes the Dowl Max doweling jig. There it is right there. And he asked me if I would be interested, if he sent me one of these, of using it, seeing how it worked, and doing a review on it. And I said, okay, sure, send it to me. Well, that isn't really what I said. What I said was, I don't use dowels that much in my work. And that I don't usually do reviews of things that I don't use. So he sent me a, a, a note back and he said, tell you what, I'll send it to you, use it, see what you think of it, and then do a review. I said, okay, fine. So he did. And when I do a review, I try really hard to be honest about it. There's good points and bad points to everything. When I got this Dowl Max, I was impressed. I'll tell you, it's an amazing tool. It works different than most other doweling jigs. Most other doweling jigs, when they clamp on a piece of wood, they drill holes right in the center. Everything is registered to the center. And that's, that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that, as long as your pieces of wood are the same thickness. If they're not, then what you can end up with is one piece of wood when it's joined to another piece of wood, whether it's face to face or this way or however. If the two pieces of wood aren't the same thickness, you're gonna have one sitting proud of the other on both sides. Well, the Dowl Max is different. It registers to one side. On the inside of the Dowl Max, machined right into the face, is a check mark. Let's see if I can get over here and get you a picture of that check mark. See if I can get it to focus here. Well, let's do it another way. There's one of the, uh, uh, the pieces that go with it. And there's the check mark right there. There's one on the inside of one face and there's a check mark on each end. Let's see if I can get that to show up there. There, there's one on each end. Well, as you're using this, the check mark is a reference face. And as you make a joint, you mark which side of a board you want to be the reference face and which end of the joint you want to be the reference end. Now all this sound, it probably sounds kind of complicated, but when you get using this, this dowel max, it's, it's really easy to understand. I'm not gonna make every joint that they show. When you buy this thing, you get a, a, a DVD with it, and every joint you can imagine is on that DVD. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna show some common joints and then some joints that, that just kinda think, I can't do that with the equipment I have now. So first of all, I'm gonna show you what's in the package. Then I'm gonna show you how it makes some of the joints it makes, and then I'll be back. Well, here's everything that comes with the Dowl Max. When you first look at it, it's kind of intimidating because there's a lot of stuff here. But if you take the time to read the, or watch the DVD,
look through the book and just kind of familiarize yourself with everything. It's really not that bad and the learning curve is not that great. One of the things that I think is really neat about this system is everything works off of a reference face. On the jig, on the inside of this face, there's a check mark. There's also a check mark on each end. When you decide what kind of joint you want to make, like in this case, let's just make a, a joint like that, like we were going to make a face frame or something. What you do is you mark the two faces, this end, and this side. Those are all going to be common. We're all, we'll also mark an X where you're going to put the dowels. Now by taking a, the jig, lining up the check mark on this face with this check mark, and the check mark on this end with that check mark, tightening the jig down, make sure everything's nice and smooth on this end. We'll drill a couple dowel holes. Take the jig off. Set this piece aside. Now, in order to make this easier, I'm just going to put this in the, the vise on a, a bit of an angle so I can show you how it goes together. But there's our check mark, there's our check mark, and there's the mark where the dowels go. Check mark here to the check mark there. The check mark here to the check mark there. Tighten the jig down. And we'll drill the two top holes. Take the jig off. Now I'll just get some dowels and we'll dry fit this. Put the dowels in the hole. There's our check mark. There's our other check mark. We we'll check mark here and a check mark there. We just put it together and there we have a beautifully aligned joint. Just for the heck of it. What if we wanted to take this board and this board and put them together end for end? We want to stretch this board a little bit because it's not long enough. Well, it's the same thing. We'll mark two reference faces, one here, one here. We'll mark a reference face over here and over here. And we'll mark the two faces where we want to drill our holes. I'll take the dowling jig. This reference face matches the reference face on the front. This reference face matches the end. Then we'll just drill these two holes. Get our other piece. Our reference face is here and on this side. So we put our dowling jig on with our reference face to this reference face. 
and this reference face to this reference face. And we'll drill a couple holes. And remove the doweling jig. Get a couple of dowels, put them in here. Find our other piece and line our reference pieces up. And we've made our board longer. Let's say I'm building a face frame. Now I've measured and I've measured and I've double checked and I've decided that I want that rail to meet that style in that spot. Well, all I have to do is mark on my style where I want them to meet. I also make this a reference face, that a reference face, that a reference face, and that a reference face. I mark where I want my dowels to be on that face and on that face. Then I take one of my pieces, take my dowel max, and I set it on there, and I mark it, make sure it's smooth on the end, that my reference faces are correct, and I drill two of my holes. Take my dowel max off. Now this piece, I can just drill, I can just drill my dowel holes right here. I just line up this end of my dowel max with the mark that I made on my reference face. My other reference face is here. And I drill two holes. dowels in. My reference face is here and here. So I find my piece. I put it on and it's a perfect joint. And I don't know if you can see the line or not, but it lines right up with the line I made for the placement of that joint. Now suppose I wanted to glue those pieces together like that and I wanted a good glue joint, and I wanted it to line up. And I want to use four dowels. All I'll have to do is mark where I want it to end. I'll mark a reference face here, a reference face here, a reference face here, a reference face here, where I want to put my dowels and where I want to put my dowels. I'll take my dowel max, I'll put it on there, and I'll line up my line. Now what I can do is I can use this hole and this hole. And this is the indexing pin. Now I can come down here to my last hole. Put my indexing pin in. And I can come down here and drill my last And I can take my other piece, put my dowel jig on, line it up on the end, 
Better make sure that my registration marks are right. Yep, there's my registration mark. Fill those two holes. Put my indexing pin in. And drill these last two holes. Get my get my dowels. And there we go. A very nice glue joint. These boards are three and a half inches wide. And we're going to put this joint together with dowels. And I'm going to do it with five dowels. And it's going to fit perfect. So the first thing we do is we mark our registration sides. We mark the registration sides here. And we mark the sides where we're going to cut the dowels. And then it's just a matter of putting them in the vise. And again, I've got this one on an angle just to make it easier to, uh, to demonstrate it. We line up the ends. And I'm going to drill all five dowel holes. Now there's the, the first five dowel holes. We see them right there. Now we'll drill the adjoining holes. Put the dowel max on. Line everything up. And I'll put five dowels in. And there it is. And it's perfectly flush on that side, on the end. It's an excellent joint. With the dowel max, you can also put picture frames together. Here we've got a couple 45s, and we're going to put them together with dowels. So the first thing we do is we put our registration marks on, put them on up here, and the side where we're going to put some dowels in it. Now the way you do this is you take the dowel max, there's our registration line or mark, here's our registration mark, and we put it right up at the very tip and tighten it down. And we're going to put that dowel. And there's our two dowel holes.
Find there, there's our registration mark. Put the dowel max on, registration mark, registration mark. Make sure this is tight right up at the edge. dowels here and there you go a nice mitered joint this is a piece of two by material <clears throat> And suppose I wanted to offset this one by a distance back from this front edge. Well, I can do it by using a 1 8 inch spacer or a 16 inch spacer or right here is a 3 8 spacer. I have a 3 quarter inch spacer but we're going to use a 3-8 spacer. So the first thing we do is mark our reference sides right there, right there, right here, right here, and we mark where we're going to put our dowels. So we take the one by Reference face, reference face, reference face. And we'll drill a couple holes. Now, Loosen up these knobs, take our spacer out, slide that out, put the spacer back in and tighten the knobs back down. Now what that's done is it's moved the whole dowel max this way. So what we'll do now is we'll mount this And we'll mount reference face, reference face, reference face, reference face. And there it is, offset three-eighths of an inch, still nice and even there, but we just have a three-eighths inch offset. A couple of the things I didn't show you is that you can take the, the dowel max and you can put it on a 4x4. Four four. You loosen up the thumb screws on that side slide this piece out, put the wide spacer in there, and then on this side you can loosen it up, put the three quarter inch spacer in there, And then if you need to, you can put the 3 8 spacer and plus a 1 8 and the 16 But you put whatever spacers you need and it gets wide enough to fit on a 4x4. Another thing you can do with this 
is it comes with a it comes with a right angle fixture and if you want to put holes anywhere you want along a board like this all you do is disassemble the dowel max put the fixture on put a couple thumb screws on it to hold it in place and you can drill your holes anywhere you want along the face of a board. All you have to do is put a clamp on the angle bracket to hold everything in place and just drill your holes. All this is covered in the instruction manual and on the DVD. Now one other really neat thing about this is suppose you have a board that has a bevel on the end. They make this neat bevel bracket. And what you do is you put the bevel bracket on there, put a couple of the nuts on, of the thumb screws on there, and suppose this board had a uh, bevel on the end of it. You hold this on with a clamp and you can drill right down into the face of a bevel. Well as you can see the dowel max does a whole lot of stuff and uh, if you have any questions on on anything uh, let me know. I'll uh, see what I can do to answer them. If not I'll get you an answer. Uh, down in the comment down in the description I'll have a link where you can find the Dowel Max, and I'll also have a link to the Dowel Max website, and I'll put my email address down there in case you have any questions. Well, I sure appreciate your watching this, and I'll tell you, the, this is a high quality tool. I was amazed at the construction of it and of the fit and finish of it. Like I say, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. I appreciate your watching. I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And hey, keep your shop messy.